Hello there guys, this is Solid Shepherd bringing you another video. And today we're going over just this article I found kind of interesting. Um, we've got a rumor that possibly Microsoft eyeing up Konami and Sega for uh, possible acquisitions. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. This is coming from website notebookcheck.net. So obviously this is like a, you know... But kind of one of them like backdoor tabloid kind of websites. So take this with a grain of salt. Microsoft snapping up Sega is the rumor that will never go away. But it now seems that Konami could also be in sights of the parent company of the Xbox Game Studios. Microsoft could do with a boost in Japan as recent sales figures reported 10 Xbox One consoles sold compared to 78,134 Nintendo Switch units. And then obviously a lot of... <laughs> PlayStations too. There's no denying when it comes to making acquisitions, Microsoft and its Xbox Game Studios are not shy about aiming high. The recent purchase of ZeniMax Media, the company that owns id Software and Bethesda Softworks, for a whopping US $7.5 billion, proves that Microsoft is actively and aggressively seeking to enhance its company portfolio and its vital Xbox brand. A popular tech commenter has indicated that the next companies that are being lined up for potential takeovers are the Japanese gaming stalwarts Sega and Konami. So we're going to go ahead and see real quick. We're on Twitter. Okay, so they're, uh, I don't even know who this is. Um... Xbox fans and video games contents only, like my avatar, somewhat immortal. So it's just a commenter, so it looks like this is really just speculation at this point. But it's just a fun video, so we'll continue with it. Microsoft and Sega have been linked for decades, and the acquisition of the latter by the former has been rumored for many a year. It would make sense for the Xbox Game Studios to obtain Sega's specialist knowledge and experience in the console area, and the Tokyo-based firm has certainly struggled over the last years in comparison to its Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive heyday. Konami also has been thrown into the mix again, and the company would bring along valuable gaming IPs like Silent Hill and Metal Gear with any acquisition. As usual, the believability of the rumors settles on just how important or not the Japanese market is for Microsoft and Xbox. Recent sales figures for the country are pretty dire for the Redmond company. 1,508 units of the Xbox Series X and S and just 10 Xbox One consoles sold for the week ending in February 27. In comparison for the same week, there were 3,249 PS4 consoles that were snapped up and Japanese gamers bought 33,792 PS5 machines and a whopping 78,134 Nintendo Switch devices were purchased. Acquiring Konami and Sega would not only make Xbox a stronger brand in Japan, but it would also appeal to millions of fans of the two companies in other areas of the world who happen to own an Xbox console. Both Microsoft head Satya Nadella and Xbox chief Phil Spencer have made it clear that the acquisition of established game developers is the right direction to take, so maybe there will be some further studio expansion coming in 2021. So let's go ahead and see what that says. Oh, this is another article. Uh, we're not going to read the whole article, but... How Microsoft CEO Xbox head says Bethesda will bolster Xbox against past lineup. So it's just basically Phil Spencer saying that they do need to, build, to bolster their lineup. So here's a hardware chart for uh, 27 February 2021. You can see the numbers right here. In Japan, we got Nintendo Switch with 78,134. Switch is killing it like everywhere across the board. You got the PlayStation 5, 33,792. You have the Series X with only 1,508. You gotta remember the PS5 is having a bigger shortage issue than the Xbox is, so that's pretty substantial. PS4 still has more in Japan <laughs> at 3,249. 
and the Xbox One only sold 10 units. That's crazy. That's the crazy number right there. 3DS even outsold the Xbox One. So yeah, that's the end of the article. So coming to the point where we talk about this now, um, I th- what I would like to see. I really don't care about Sega, and it's going to be hard if Sega is going to be bought by anyone. I would think it'd be Nintendo because they've already just like how Bethesda had you know worked really close with Microsoft in the past. Sega has worked a lot really close with Nintendo in the past. So if anyone's going to buy. Sega, I would assume it would be Nintendo. That being said, Konami could would be really awesome, especially just the way that company's gone downhill and only has cared about like pachinko machines and stuff. I would love to see Microsoft buy up Konami. I would love to see them save the Metal Gear series. Uh, I never really was a fan of Silent Hill, but I know a lot of people has a really cult following, so that'd be awesome for those people. And they have a lot of other IPs that have just been dead for years that they could bring back as well. So, I could see possibly Konami happening, especially with how abysmal these numbers are. You gotta think Microsoft is aware of this. Even though this this article is really just a one giant rumor based on a commentator who is, really isn't that much different than myself. <laughs> right? It's just a commentator on the internet. I'm sure they probably have more followers than I do little more clout than I do, but there's still just a commentator on the internet. But I can see, like, they have to have a plan, right? Unless they just really don't care about the Japanese market at all, which I would find hard to believe. But anyways, let me know what you guys have to say about this um, in the comment section below. If you're liking my content, please like and subscribe. As always, on these article videos, the source will be down in the description below. And until next time, guys, this has been Solid Shepherd, and I should go.